Hello and welcome to another post-production tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at bitrate and we're going to have a look at what it is, how we can change the bitrate settings on our exports and what changing our bitrate does to image quality. I've already written a blog post about the subject, but what I've done is I've created an A4 PDF, which has all of the information from the blog post laid out in a very simple and easy to print way. You can download this PDF for free just in the YouTube description below. At the end, we will go into Resolve and I'll show you how to change the bitrate settings on an H.264 export. So let's get into it. To start off, we have a description of what bitrate is. Below the descriptor, we have two images. Uh, this shows what happens when you change the bitrate too low. Uh, so on the left, you have a good quality image. And on the right hand side, you have an image that's been exported at a low bit rate. And you can see um, some pretty major compression and banding uh, within that second image. So that's a nice visual example of what can happen when you change bit rates, um, but also what it can do to the file size. Because you can see the file size on the right is dramatically lower. So in certain contexts, that might be better for your needs. Going down, on the left hand side, I've broken down some of the bit rates that I use um, for sending approval, client and delivery H.264s. H.264s are one of the only codecs that you can choose a variable bit rate. As you can see on the right hand side, I've got some uh, codec tables that show what the bit rate are for standard codecs. So you can't change the bit rate for ProRes. You can't change the bit rate for DNX. They have set presets. So you need to select whatever codec preset that you need which has the appropriate bit rate for your export. And then finally, uh, in a very small uh, little section, I didn't really have enough space, there's a very small table from Vimeo's guidelines that shows what their recommended bit rates are for certain resolutions. And again, just a note for the general PDF, all of these bit rates are referring to 25 FPS deliverables. When you change the frame rate, you are changing the amount of information per second that you are encoding. So your bit rate has to take that into account. And just before I go, um, if we go ahead to the deliver tab in resolve and we go ahead and make this render panel a little bit larger when we have the mp4 format and the h264 codec selected you see that we have this quality field that we can adjust we can change it to restrict to and then we can choose what bit rate we want to encode to if i wanted to use this as a mid quality sort of approval screener file i might go ahead and set that to 15 megabits per second or 15,000 kilobits that is how you change the bit rate and resolve for h264 files cool guys uh that's it uh, feel free to download it in the youtube description below or you can go ahead and read the full blog post which is also linked below hope this is a helpful cheat sheet for you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial cheers